Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for the 12th to the 19th of August. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We've got the Page of Swords, the Devil, the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the World. That's five, one more. Okay. Um, Knight of Pentacles. A really interesting energy, uh, Scorpio. We have the full moon happening on the 19th. We've got... Do you hear that? What is going on? There's this really... I want to use the word resistance is futile or the sentence i should say resistance is futile there's this big energy right now where it almost feels like people are just like so done so frustrated are like i don't know tapped out beyond their capacity beyond their limit like are just um overextended overworked just like in this really weird i almost want to call it weird energy to be honest with you and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're leading up to one of the craziest transits um this year and i'm gonna pull it up because i don't remember the exact mars conjunct jupiter on the 14th and mercury retrograde enters leo on the 14th the 14th is a fucking crazy day i'm just gonna call it that okay the 14th is wild the 14th is going to be a really powerful day, but the 14th is also going to be a really, or could be, I should say, a very explosive day as well. The 14th to me is a day where if we don't use the energy correctly, it could blow up, you know? Um, uh, think like tower energy, okay? You don't have to tower here, and I don't think this week is gonna be bad for you at all. What I want to say is resistance to the change is futile. Resistance to what is coming up this week is futile. There's no need for you to try and like change a script or want something different or like, I don't know, change the wheel, okay? No point in doing any of that at all. With freedom here, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. With the card of, of, of uh, the ninth house here, Jupiter and, um, and, and Sagittarius, that's the house of higher learning, expansion. It's connected to source. It's connected to morals, values, ethics, ethos, uh, the law. This is about optimism, inspiration, and expansion, and higher education, publications. Like, it has to do with spirituality. It's all of that, bro, okay? And then with the trust the timing, trust the way you came on, time is not running out. It's like source is saying, can you trust you you ask source for freedom you ask source for happiness you ask source for peace you ask source for all of these things can you trust source to provide all these things for you can you trust the wave can you trust the journey can you be open to staying present to finding joy to finding pleasure and knowing and realizing that it is that energy that is going to cultivate the happiness the fulfillment, the peace, the ease, the bliss in your life. We got the page of swords and the devil. I think that this week there could be some pretty sharp conversations with uh, page of swords, the devil, and the high priestess. There could be some really sharp conversations here. Conversations that you've been wanting to have for a really long time. Conversations that you may have been keeping close to the chest or been really worried or afraid of saying. Like this is the time where you're just like, what? And yes, Mercury is retrograde, and we often advise not to have these conversations during Mercury retrograde, but at this point, this is becoming toxic, and this is becoming unhealthy, and you need to just say it, speak it and say it, and not worry that you're going to say something wrong, but more worry about what happens if you keep holding on to this instead of letting it go, instead of purging it, right? The Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups are two cards that are very polar opposite. One is about waiting and patience and you know, whatever you do will have a direct reflection, right? Um, and then the other one is about joy and play and happiness and fun. And so it's like these two polar opposite energies. Like what if, just saying here, what if you could turn around and be like, I choose play and pleasure and fun, knowing that I'm going to say exactly what I need to say, knowing that I'm going to have the confidence to stand up for myself, not being afraid of the bullies, not being afraid of the mean people. And with the world and the Knight of Pentacles, okay, trusting, okay, trusting source, trusting the journey, trusting that this cycle is being wrapped up for your highest good. Like this 
thing that needs to happen, right? It's happening because it's time. You know, you got the Amulet Volcan, which is directly connected to Mount Vesuvius, which is the um, volcano responsible for what happened in Pompeii. Sometimes the volcano's got to explode, babe. And from the volcano, the phoenix rises from the ashes. And that's exactly what's happening here. From the volcano, the phoenix rises from the ashes. You cannot stay quiet anymore, my love. You cannot keep this to your chest. You cannot keep this um, anymore, like this weight, okay? Because it's not serving you. It's not helping you. It's not for your highest good. And I'm pretty sure, 99.99999999% sure that you're realizing how how toxic it is to hold on to this um, in your life like it's just not it's not bueno it's not bueno okay let's dive into your love reading here and see what's going on in love if you want to book a session you want to work with me in any capacity take a peep at the description box below okay we've got the six of pentacles the empress and the em uh, and the emperor you it's time for you to find your counterpart and your counterpart is not going to be found in the past what was that your counterpart is not going to be found in the past okay the ten of swords yeah source is saying wrap up the end wrap up the past and put yourself out there move forward here can you have that explosive conversation or that conversation that just is jarring and it needs to be had where you need to stand up for yourself and you need to turn around and say, this is what I deserve. This is what I'm worthy of receiving. This is what I value. This is what's important to me. This is what I want. And therefore you need to provide this to me. And if you can't provide this to me, I'm going to go elsewhere and look for it. This could have to do with your career, your finances, your love life, friendship, whatever. Can you quit the things that are toxic for you to make space for the things that are healthy for you? I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions um, or if you want to book a session with me. Babe, this is a life-changing week. Okay, it's time for you to answer the call from the universe, big time. All right? Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.